looking at a 1967 Plymouth GTX convertible. One of only 680 GTX convertibles made in 1967. Uh, this car has the 440 Super Commando engine uh, paired with the automatic and 294 rear axle. Uh, the car was originally white over black interior and a black vinyl top. Uh, it's since been repainted somewhere along the lines. You can see some of the white showing up and here in the uh, fender arches, again over there. But the floor is red matching, so whoever painted it red back when, um, they did a decent job doing the, uh, doing the color change on it. Um, the interior, lacking a carpet <laughs> and uh, you know the seats need some love but uh, you know relatively complete as far as pieces go uh, it has an AM radio and then somebody added later uh, an FM tuner there um, the top does work uh, I'll show you a little video right here. To be more tuned in and obviously needs a top. Uh, so the bones work and you can see that the pump there, um, right here, you know, all that stuff's there. And um, yeah, so pop open the trunk real quick, kind of show you what it looks like in here. Got my universal uh, trunk key here. A little better. All right, so good looking trunk pan. Uh, there's no areas here that jump out to me as needing an issue, you know, an issue and uh, addressed. Um, it's scaly, but not rusted. Um, these areas look okay. Uh, they could look better, so this will take some attention. Uh, in this box, just some leftover stuff that, you know, this is a interior trim piece, there's the gas pedal, um, some belts and hardware that we took out, some locking mechanisms, an older Georgia plate. So I got this car in Colorado, but it came from Richmond, Georgia prior to that, so that was 96. Um, this plate back here says 2000, so I think it was sold right about 2000. Um, We'll go through the uh, lower quarter here. Got a little bubbly going on. Um, this car has air shocks. It's pretty low right now. Overall, a super solid car. You can see the underneath, um, when I go underneath the car, how it looks. And um, it's got a ratty patina to it now, but it's a strong car to start with. It's got lots of good bones and floor is super solid. The trunk is very solid. There are uh, just some areas of bubbly going on. Um, and uh, that's about it. This lower quarter here, again, is bubbling up a little bit, but the backside is super solid, so it's just a exterior um, piece. corner markers, all the front trim is here. Uh, I'll show you underneath the, the hood here. I'll have to do one handed. Ugh, there we go. So again, it's a 440 Super Commando 
Um, I haven't seen a ton of these blue air cleaners. I don't know if somebody can comment on that or something and tell me why this one's blue, um, but it is. You see some different colors of paint over the years. It was orange and maybe even like a blue color, maybe similar to the air cleaner down there. Uh, then it got painted black. Um, washer bottle, some stuff going on here, Chrysler um, radiator, uh, go through here, show you some of the, I don't know if you can see that exhaust manifold part number, um, all these will be photographed, so if you want to click on the, the link in the description to see more uh, photographs, if I'm going by things too fast should all be there and uh, spend plenty of time looking at it. Um, get this thing off here. Okay, so it's got a Holly on it. 4749-3 Holly. Um, I did my research on that. It looks to be like an aftermarket uh, carb. It's got a 2806178 intake manifold on it um looks to be i can't really read the date code those eights could be sixes but maybe it's six six sixty seven or eight eight sixty seven take you kind of around here oh here's the fender tag important piece um and then, so this 02479, 02479, so that checks out on the uh, hidden VIN here on the core support. Uh, in case anybody had any questions, that's a matching up part. Uh, you know, it shows it's a genuine 440 convertible. Um, Probably not as important on these cars given that the 440 was original equipment or standard equipment i should say uh here's another exhaust manifold but yeah overall a complete car that obviously needs to be restored but you're dealing with a lot of good parts a lot of original parts and a lot of uh a lot of stuff there everything needs to be refurbished and restored however you're not hunting for stuff that's uh you know too obscure so now to the underside walk around walk around on the underside of this 67 GTX convertible just to show you the status of the car and everything underneath here uh, overall very solid car it's uh, got some areas that need to get some work done to but overall it's it's all here it's all uh, you know parts that could be refurbished instead of replaced and uh, some areas that are concerning would be maybe this torque box here has got some some issues but um, you know overall it's, it's really good car to start with uh, the tires obviously need to be replaced I wouldn't recommend driving it as it is um, I did but you know just to show you it runs drives shifts stops but beyond that I, I wouldn't drive it very far um, all these wheels have this 7855 number on them with the exception of the driver's rear that's at four here then it's an 855 so those are all match these are original uh magnum 500 wheels uh underneath here we have the engine um casting number Let's see if we can get that not to look like that um so that number says Two five three six four three zero dash eight, and the uh, casting date number there is uh, four twenty sixty seven. Um, the car was assembled on June sixteenth, so that's a great date code for this car. Um, here's some more stamping numbers. Um, I believe the, the PT part tells you the plant, and then four four zero. This is a four forty. Um, 
So here's the 727 Trans, um, the part number there for that. It's hard to read there, those last four numbers are 8282. Get down the uh, floors here are really nice, perfectly solid. Um, the rockers starting here look good right on through. Um, you got some issue back here a little bit, needs to be addressed here. Um, sort of the same thing on this side. Nice and clean, but the back before the rear tires got some areas that need to be addressed and cleaned up. Axle. Uh, everything looks good under here. Air shocks, kind of cool. I know that was like a thing of the day. Um, so that runs back here actually to this straighter valve. Pretty cool. Georgia license plate. Um, looks decent underneath here. Um, there is some starting right here. That's really the only area to be worried about. Torque boxes look good. I didn't really point that out earlier. Quarters are like on the other side, got some stuff going on here, but the backside still looking good. All in all, very solid car and uh, has a lot of the right parts. Also wanted to point out that all these wheels uh, have these matching numbers on it. This is actually the only one that's four eight. Let's see, here we go. Four eight five five. The rest of them say this is a tough one to read. Seven. Eight five five. Um, but yeah, these are all matching original wheels. Um, seven eight five five here. Seven eight five five. 